Hello friends, so our today's question is zigzag conversion. So what is given in this question? We are given an string, uh, a, part a particular string and uh, we have to write it in zigzag pattern on a given number of rows. Okay, so what we are given in this question? We are given an string S and we are given with a number of rows. So we have to write this string in given number of rows in the zigzag pattern like this string is written as this pay uh, then P A L I S H I N G that uh, and now what after writing this in zigzag form we have to read this line by line and we have to uh, return what will be the uh, result okay so what basically is given we are given an string s and we are writing it in the form of zigzag zigzag like this from up to uh, from top to bottom then from bottom to up then from top to bottom then from bottom to up so this is written like uh, p a y p a y first it has come down then for p a p a it has went up then again for a l i then it is it came down uh, then uh, we have done so what we have done we have uh, started from here then here then here uh, then again shi rng so in this way we have written this in zigzag uh, form now what we have to do we have to return these we have to read it line by line so what will be the answer so the answer for this is p a p a h n a p l s i i g by ir so this is our answer we are uh, reading it line by line and we are returning the resultant uh, uh, resultant string so this we have to return okay so like uh, uh, i think we have understood the question so for the approach to solve this what we can do is first of all like uh, we have to store these uh, we have to store these uh, uh, if we have to read this line by line so we have to re store this somewhere we have to store this string somewhere we have to store this string somewhere so in that way only now we can append those string and uh, result uh, and can return our result okay so we can have a vector we can have a vector vector of a string okay we can have a vector of a string okay so in this vector what we can store we can store this vector its size will be like for this row the given number of rows are three so its size would be three and it would we will initialize it with empty string okay so what we will do now so we will store these string in their respective indexes like first string will be stored at zero and then one and two respectively okay then we will append now how we can found this string so what basically we can do here is now we can traverse this using a variable i from to, uh, starting to end now we can have another variable k or we can say j we can have another variable j that we will resize it with zero and we can have a flag variable so this will indicate flag variable like true or false or anything which we, so this will indicate either we have to go down or we have to go up okay so it, this will indicate us whether we have to go down or we will have to go up and its variable its value will change according to the value of j if like j is equals to number of rows number of rows or j is equals to zero so if j like if j is at the starting consider this j is at the starting so what we have to do we have to go downwards so what we will do we will have j uh, this vector let's say it's temp then we can have temp of j temp of j is equals to s of i okay so like we are placing this ith index ith index value of s to the correct position like we have this j j for zero index we have one one two so for one two three index we are having three empty string so what we are basically doing we are checking key either uh, either ith value will come in zero three index one index or second index. and this we are checking on the basis of this flag so if flag value is zero then we will have uh, we will, if flag value is zero or and uh, if j value is zero j here we is uh, j is uh, we are considering it to change the value of flag so if j value is zero then we will move downward and j value is equals to number of row then we will start moving upward okay so this basically we are doing so in this way uh, we will have our uh, our uh, uh, strings in their respective indexes okay so like we will dry run this first uh, let's check and dry run this so what we'll do i 
is here okay now we have written that like j so then we will have flag value is equals to whatever it contains like opposite of that so flag value we will initialize it uh, with false okay now first of all it is false and if it is true uh, if flag value uh, okay if flag value flag value is equals to true then we will move down if flag value is equals to false then we will move up okay so what we'll do we will initialize our flag value with false okay so here now first first it will enter the uh, loop for loop so it will check if j value is zero and j so what it will do if j value is zero currently so it will change whatever it contains so flag value we have realized it will false so it will turn to true now true is there flag so we have to move downward so what we will do we will for j uh, or we will uh, so if we will check if our flag variable is true uh, we will check like right? uh, we will check if our uh, flag variable is true then what we will do we will increment the value of j in other case what we will do else we will increment the value we will decrement the value of j so this is same will happen for i uh, for j will increase so j zero will be there so as i will contain so here we will have uh, here we will have uh, p okay then uh, j value will increment because flag value is uh, uh, true so j for j is equal to 1 i is equals to 1 okay so what it will come so for one value a will come and in the same way y will come now uh, if we will check so now uh, j value is equals to number of rows okay so its value will change so it value will change to false now false so we will move upward so we will decrement the value so what we will do now first of all so j value will be decremented so j value will be one and now next i value will come here so what will come uh, here p p will come okay so in this way our whole string will be formed and we in the vector we will have the uh, each row uh, we will have a string for each row then what we will do we will iterate to that vector and we will append those rows and we will return the resulting string okay so i think we have understood the approach uh, to solve this question now let's jump into the code so what we are having here is uh, first of all we will have int n is equals to uh, oh, we uh, we have number of rows in place so we will have vector of a string that we will initialize uh, first of all we have to give the name so like temp uh, which we will have uh, a number of rows num r o w s rows and we will initialize it with empty string okay so what we have we have in place now we will uh, what we will do we will have a, a variable called uh, uh, j which we will initialize to zero then we will we can have a boolean boolean uh, Uh, boolean variable as flag that we will f l a g flag that we will size to false uh, okay now we will iterate to the string if int i is equals to zero i is less than s dot l e n g t h n uh, i plus plus now what we will do first of all we will check if j is equal equals to num r o w s rows or j is equal equals to zero then what we will do we will change the value of flag flag is equals to uh, a g flag okay so Let's have this flag is equals to flag is equals to here we will have not of whatever is present but not of flag okay so this we have done uh, now what we will we are moving downwards or upwards so what we will have temp of j will contain the value of s of i okay now we will check if flag is true then we will increment the value of j else we will decrement the value of j okay now we will have all the strings in our vector so what we will do for 
we will have a value result answer or we can say str range string answr answer is equals to empty string now what we will do we will check if for int i is equal uh, sorry okay i is equals to 0 i is less than num r o w s rows uh, i plus plus now what we will do we will a n s w r answer plus is equals to uh, temp of i okay now what we will do we will return a n s w r answer now let's run this I know something went wrong and time error here it should be rows minus one because rows is three and we are dealing with the index and again it is 10 plus is equals to now let's run this yes so it is accepted now let's submit this uh, oh sorry uh, we have forgotten the edge case like in this case if num uh, num r o w s rows is equal equals to 1 then we have to return s only okay now let's run this again submit yes so it is submitted successfully okay so what is the time complexity for this as we are having only one loop that is iterating to the length of the string let's say uh, again so uh, okay so length of the string may be like n so its time complexity will be capital o of n where n is the length of this string so this is the solution for the required question uh, thank you for watching